Now there's been a lot of cinematics and a lot of creation, but it's time to talk about some of the other stuff that comes with building an album, like having a website. As you might know, recording music is not the only part that goes into creating an album. There's artwork, there's a website, there's sales, and there's interaction with your fans, which is why you should be building your own website to do all these things. But it usually comes at a cost. For instance, I use this website service called Shopify, where you're able to create a website, host a website, use plenty of different apps to go with that website and features, but I'm paying around $100 a month to maintain it. Not everybody has that to spend every single month. So what you want to use is something like withkoji.com. First and foremost, grab a camera and snap some photos and videos for your website, even a phone can work. Okay, so here is an example of something that I shot real quick just now, as you guys saw. Whether or not you choose to edit your video in something like Final Cut, Premiere Pro, or iMovie is entirely up to you, but the point is to just get some branding for your site. Just remember that whatever you shoot, make sure that it's vertical. The easiest way to start making your website after you've got some assets together to customize your website, so photos and videos like I showed before, is to go to the link in the description, scroll down and click get started for free. And now we are met with this get started page. And I'm just gonna start from scratch. I wanna upload a cover photo. There we go, we click save. So you get that welcome to Koji page and it takes you to the very first page where you start adding the apps to really build up your profile. Now I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna click manage in the top left corner, edit profile, and I want to start adding my video to my profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to style and then I'm gonna click on background color and you see this first two options here. We can either add a custom picture that we've taken ourselves or we can choose to add a video, which I just filmed a video and I love the way it looks on my profile. So you just click on video, upload a video and then take one from my photo library. And just like that, you've got a custom branded background. So now we can go ahead and start to customize our buttons and stuff like that. Now, we obviously don't have buttons yet, so we need to start adding apps to do those things that I spoke about earlier, which is we wanna either sell our music, we wanna connect with our fans, or if we're a producer or something like that, we want to sell our services, mixing and mastering, producing, uh, songwriting, recording, stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on manage and then go to apps and links. Here you'll find a bunch of suggestions on which apps will better serve you as a musician on your profile. Let's be real. Artists these days, the way that we push our music the most is click the link in the description, link in my bio. Playing shows, yes, physical meets, yes, but most of the interaction I would say with our fans is online. So the link in bio is so important. It's just as important, if not more, than your actual website these days. People can find everything they need to know about you from your socials, where your music is, where your tour is headed, how much the tickets are, your NFTs, Koji has all this. I'd say one of the most important things that you for sure want to have in your link and bio page is your music links. So go ahead and add that, click view, and then we'll click add. And this is going to link your Spotify, your Apple Music, your Deezer, whatever you decide uh, to add to this. Just copy your artist uh, link, come back to your Koji, paste it there. Boom. So let's go ahead and click next. So we have our add to profile. You can choose to name this in your profile. I try to do something that's kind of like a call to action, but it's not too salesy. Like check out my music, stuff like that. Publish cost is free. So they have these publishing costs, which basically means how much it costs to put this app on your store to publish this application. All of them that I've seen are free. The only times that money is going to be coming out of your account is when you make a sale from your services or from your music. Koji is free to use, however, they do earn their money by taking a small percentage of your sales. So you'll notice there's a list starting to populate here. Now there are these circles here, which are bigger circular buttons that appear at the very top of your profile. So these you generally want to be, I would say the most important ones because they're gonna be the most noticeable, at least initially to whoever views your website or your Koji. So we have our music links. I'm 
going to embed a video as well. Paste the link there. Done. Click next. It's going to populate a thumbnail. Now we rename this and we'll click publish. So what you want to do is determine what's going to be the purpose of your website. Are you trying to specifically focus on building customer relations or fan relations? Are you trying to focus on building your services that you sell as a producer? Whatever this is going to be, this is where you determine what you put in these three buttons at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna click on my manage here and I'm going to click on edit profile. And this is where we have those three buttons at the top. So these are our profile links. I'm gonna tap the first one. And here, I wanna add like a little tip jar. So this is actually the one app that Koji has, the one monetary app, where people can leave you tips and they don't take a cut because it's a tip. That's like Starbucks reaching in a tip jar and taking out some money. So that's what I appreciate about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my tip jar as the first button on the top of my profile. Just a really cool way to have people show some support they don't have to give an astronomical amount of money. It doesn't matter. Just a way for people to support you. So click add. Thank you for your support. Just a way for you to show that you're, you know, you're thankful for the tips that you receive. You can also upload a video or photos here to give people like a video thank you. Keep 100% of purchases and the publish cost is free. So you publish that and now you have a tip jar at the very top of your website. So the second one, let's say you're a music producer and you're trying to sell some beats. We have two different functions here. We have locked audio and NFT locked audio. They're pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it's audio, let's say an album that you're trying to release and you want people to pay for that album and then it gets unlocked. Well, you can do that. First, go to the app store and add one of the locked audio apps to your profile. After that, decide what you're going to name your collection of songs. This could be an album name or an EP a description of your songs. And when deciding on what price to set, remember this is for the entire collection of songs, not one, unless of course you add just one song. We allow downloads. You have to turn this on if you want people to be able to download the music that they purchase. I really would not recommend you unchecking this because if people are buying this, you want them to be able to own it. So go ahead and click publish. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the Sell a Service app. And this one lets you make a personal menu of all the different services that you offer. You can have people go to your Koji profile linked in your bio and they'll see right at the top, you know, the services option, the services tab that they can tap on and see for themselves how much I charge. So start selling services. There is no publish cost but they do take, once again, 15% of what you sell through the services on your Koji app. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap publish. So on our front page, we have a rough, you know, example of what our profile looks like. Of course, I would build this to have a couple more links on here just to fill it out a bit more, but I like how it's kind of coming together as this sort of spooky Halloween kind of theme. My creepy, you know, self in the background, just looking at you, making sure you're about to click something. <laughs> And I did this all in a matter of maybe half an hour. So hopefully you guys got something from this video on how to build your website, how to sell and make money from your music for free using something like with Koji.com. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be answering every single one of them. If you have anything about, you know, specific apps that you want to see or whatever, also leave those down below in the comment section. With that said, I think we've taken enough of a break. We've built our website to soon host and sell our music and our services. But now I have to finish the music that we're going to sell. Let's do it.